Well, I think there's a, there's a practical approach, which is when you're looking for the, the, the prospects of life on planets around other stars, the first kind of life you look for scientifically is something that's like our own because that's the easiest thing. We, we know that, that carbon and oxygen-based life exists in this planet that relies on water. So sort of the most simplest thing, if you're looking to see if life exists elsewhere, is to look for water-based life that, that's carbon and oxygen-based as well. So that's a sort of practical first step you, and, and is, in fact, sort of the approach that scientists take. As a Christian, I think that, uh, you know, God has no limits, so there's no philosophical, in my mind, no philosophical or theological reason to think that um, that we're the only place that life exists. Uh, it could be that life exists many places. If you think about it, during the, the, the biblical times, they would often talk about how the Word of God would eventually spread to the islands. I mean, to these people, the furthest reaches of the world were these mystical islands that were, you know, off the coast of the Mediterranean. Well, we now know that, you know, what they were considering the islands was very close to the, the, the peoples that were uh, um, responding to the first biblical writers of those days, we now know that there were civilizations all around the earth that they just weren't aware of. So it may be that, you know, God has many surprises in store for us that we have not yet quite been cognitively ready to to understand until now. But we can say as Christians, so I, I believe theologically from scriptures, we cannot say whether or not there is life outside the earth and whether or not there's intelligent life that that God has needed to redeem or to visit on other planets. That's speculation for our imagination. What we can say as Christians is that what the Bible does teach is that God, the God of the Bible, is responsible for whatever it is that we find out there. And so that's why I think it's exciting as Christians to go exploring, because we're never going to find anything that's outside of God's realm. Everything is uh, everything is part of this ma- majestic creation, and the more you discover, the more amazed you get by uh, thinking about God. And so I, I think exploration is, is a divinely Christian activity, and people should be excited about it.